Hello and welcome to this episode of Moments in Black History. Today, the author in me is excited to introduce to you Francis M. Watkins Harper, also known as Francis E. W. Harper. She was born in Baltimore, Maryland in 1825. And did you know that Mrs. Harper became the first black woman to publish a novel? Iola Leroy, or Shadows Uplifted, entered the literary world in 1892. And guess what? Harper was 67 years old. Allow me to share a little of the plot with you. Iola Leroy is a story of a daughter of a wealthy planter. She's light-skinned with blue eyes. And when it's discovered that she has Negro blood, Iola is sold into slavery. Once she is freed by the Union Army, she becomes a nurse during the Civil War. And during the story, Iola embraces her heritage and strives to improve conditions for Blacks in America. I highly recommend getting a copy and experience a true piece of history for yourself. Let me share also that long before her first novel, this remarkable writer published the first short story by a Black woman. Two Offers was published in 1859. And during her lifetime, Harper wrote short stories, essays, and poetry, and delivered speeches zeroing in on issues of racism, feminism, and classism. Harper was also most influential in the fight for women's rights. Lastly, according to the Library of Congress, nearly 100 years before Rosa Parks, Frances Harper refused to give up her seat to ride in the colored section of a New York trolley car. Frances Harper's life shouted, it is never too late to follow your dreams and make a difference. So keep dreaming and keep striving. Remember to click the subscribe button so you don't miss future episodes of Moments in Black History. Ciao for now.